people think that um, there's no, po no poverty, um, no issue in education, we're fine. Um, but what I found out is that's not true. Um, uh, through my experience, for example, um, I was a middle school student who really suffered from the education system. Um, I, I know of other students or other classrooms that there's you know, the, a number of students who are suffering from the system. And for example, one example might be the poverty issue. Um, people think that Japan doesn't have poverty, but if you look at the data, that's not true. If you look at the OECD relative poverty rate, Japan is the fourth highest in the OECD countries. Uh, very close to what the, the number is of the United States. Um, and so why, why is it that we feel it's this different? It's, I, I think one thing is because in the United States, it's very concentrated. Um, if you go to the, like these um, uh, areas, you could really see it, you could feel it uh, when the poverty rate is over 90% or you know, the um, crime rate is very high or so. But in Japan, it's very dispersed. So in every region, every community, you have 10 to 20% of relative um, students who are receiving government welfare in order to study. Um, and of course, there is um, districts, uh, for example, that Teach for Japan is supporting where the poverty rate is close to 50%. And if you go to those communities, you can feel it. But it's very um, rare for, for example, government leaders or business leaders to stepping into those communities. Um, so then, you know, there's no one who's advocating for the issue. So what's happening in Japan is it's like a zombie. So it's like for a long time, the poverty rate is increasing, increasing gradually. And, you know, seven, eight years ago, nobody, nobody was talking about this. But now suddenly it's in the media. It's because I think one or two cases where there was a student who died from, you know, poverty or, you know, some, there was a consequence there. And then the media was there. But so the point is, for, for me, I, I think the issue is there. And why I uh, sensed it is because I saw the data, but not only just saw the data, but I asked my friends, uh, the teachers, uh, my colleagues, and also, I uh, also reminded myself like how I was suffering within the system. So um, it, it was only it was my personal journey how uh, to make this real, how important this issue is, and how severe the situation is. I think one thing is definitely because of my, of my personal journey. Um, I, I had a great teacher who transformed my life, and you know he saved my life. So. That's uh, the, one of the biggest reasons that I have is because I, I had a person who saved my life. I need to pay for it. I need to give back. Um, I still remember um, I was bullied severely when I was in middle school. And I had Mr. Matsuno, my physical education teacher, who helped me out. And I went to him when I was uh, back in high school uh, to say thank you to him. And I said, um, thank you. I really want to, you saved my life and I want to give back. But the comment that he made was, don't give it back to me. Um, really give it back or pay for it to the students that are in the similar situation. And I thought that was, oh, this adult is very cool. I want to I wanna be like that. So I never thought about becoming a physical education teacher. But because of Mr. Matsuno and his inspiration, um, I, I you know, decided to become a physical education teacher. So I, I think it's like, a, you know, it's a calling for me that I need to continue um, paying forward. But the other point is, I think this is what, um, close to what Wendy mentioned, is you know, once you're out there and you're shouting out your vision, you know, there, there are actually a lot of people who say, no, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work in Japan. It worked in the US, but not in Japan. Or there's no poverty in Japan. Or the education system is fine. Or you know, you're, you're too young or whatever. Um, but out of those, there is one or two who you know contact you and say you know I really believe in this. This is something that I was you know already thinking of, and thank you for starting it. I want to join. Or there's people who say that you know education is crucial and teacher development is crucial, and having you know these you know diverse um, young potential leaders coming into the classroom is something meaningful. So I would like to invest you um, some you know donate you some money. Or there's board of educations um, that's you know, out of whatever is said or whatever is believed in the system, there's, you know, teachers or board of education, teacher recruiters who are saying, we're really lacking the talent. Uh, we need more teachers. Um, we need teachers who are talented, passionate about education. And we receive a lot of requests. Um, so, you know, you, you, 
we, as you gain this uh, force of allies, I think that's a really um, becomes a movement and that becomes one reason or one responsibility that we need to deliver to really answer to these you know, expectations or uh, hopes that we receive. I think um, there's three questions um, I would like to ask. One is, um, for example, for the young professionals or the new graduates who are thinking your own career, um, how much um, leadership are you actually gaining through your own experience? Um, and the second question is, um, how much impact, direct impact, are you seeing through your job or your life? And the third one is, how fulfilling is your um, life? Um, and the first one about the leadership, um, I definitely, I, I was a consultant before, and I also um, you know, worked in various organizations. But I would say my first career, uh, as my two years of experience working as a teacher, um, was, the mo it was the most challenging. But uh, most for f um, the moment that I um, gave my leadership um, capacity um, there. Um, as a teacher, you really need to um, set the vision. You need to have a common, shared uh, vision, um, student vision. And you also need to communicate with each individual who have different personalities, different personal dreams and vision as well. You also need to communicate them uh, with them to build a trust with them. And you also need to, you have the goal, you build the trust, and you need to have the plan to achieve the goal. Um, what you'll realize is you cannot achieve that vision or goal by your own yourself. You need to engage you know, colleagues, teacher colleagues. You also need to engage the parents. You also need to engage the community uh, so that you can support or create an environment so that the kids will actually achieve that vision. So I think like the two years that I was working as a teacher, every day I learned something about leadership. And I think because of that two years, um, because of that, I am here standing here today. Um, so the first question, think about how much leadership you're gaining through your career. I think leadership is going to be, it was the key and it's going to be the key driver uh, to make change and make your life happy. Uh, and the second one is how much impact do you have? And I, I have a, I, I talk to a lot of business leaders um, talking about impact, but there's not that many people or jobs that create direct impact to, you know, change someone's lives or you know, make it a better world. And I think teaching is definitely uh, the one, one position that enables that. Every day you face 30 students, and these 30 students might be the change makers for the future. Um, so think of that, how many change makers we're lacking in the society now, and you, know, you can change that. You could change that by uh, stepping into the classroom. And the third point is how fulfilling your job is. Again, in Japan, there's a lot of business people who are, if you, you know, are, are on the commuting train, you can really realize how people, their faces, how daunting they are and looking down. And it's very you know, dark, right? Um, I, I, I don't really see that much fulfillment uh, um, seeing those uh, commuters. Uh, but go, step into the classroom and look at the teacher's face. It's very, it's a different face. Um, they, they seem happy. It's, it's, of course, challenging. But through these, you know, expressions or f f faces that you see, you can really see how, you know, they're, um, they're very feeling that the job is fulfilling. And every feedback you, f you receive from the kids, the children, it also makes you happy. Uh, so I, I would say, like, my two years of teaching, it was the happiest moment in my life. And I'm always thinking to when I'm going back as a teacher. Um, so again, these three questions I think is very important. So, and if you know any of those are no, um, please you know consider teaching or teach for uh, program a program as uh, a part of your career.